All right, it's Wednesday. We're back for another It's Our Time with Ego Rabbit. So, yes, I am Ego Rabbit. Not really a rabbit, but I'm a person nonetheless. Okay, my name is Jesse Craig. Thank you. I'm the founder and creator of Charisma Kill Studios, where we do cartoony web comics and also have moved into the realm of tabletop role playing games. If you were here Monday, we were doing, uh, we were finishing up a piece from Sweet Dreams Were Made of Worms, which is one of the comic books. And today we're going to start a new one. But let me go over, I made a list of things that I should mention here. First, Saturday. If you're in Mississippi, Biloxi, or a comfortable driving radius to Mississippi and Biloxi, Coast Con 44 is going on. It's one of the oldest sci-fi fantasy literary comics in the Gulf South. Uh, we will be there on Saturday running uh, test plays of the tabletop role-playing game Weird, which is a horror, B-grade horror, myth, folklore game that I have been developing for a while, which hopefully is coming out this year, beginning or mid-next year. Um... We have been playing test plays of that, which you can check out at the United Venture Company. And one other thing, the United Venture Company, if you've been following me and them, have made the official move to YouTube where they are exclusively on YouTube. So, you can check them out. United Adventure Company on YouTube. Also, I designed a new logo for them, so you can check that out as well. Um... That is it. So let's get on. Let's move on with the R's. Okay. What we're going to be doing is Felix Gray. Felix Gray is from the comic Sweet Dreams Are Made of Worms. I did this sketch a long time ago. And I never finished it. I kind of liked it. So I'm redoing it digitally. Like from scratch. So I didn't scan this. Felix is the owner of the science company the the high science company on in sweet dreams for May worms called nova labs and he's also the creator of spider monkey which i believe i did do a spider monkey on this stream a while back so okay all right i don't know what Guess what he's talking about? But look, let's 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 uh let's we already into it. Let's go. Let's move to the art board. All right. Oh, what is this? This is that ugly blue line sketch that you see me do sometimes. That's because it's just the way I'm used to doing it. Um, I went ahead and got a jump start on this for the sake of time. So, and I think that we could just go ahead and jump. To a new layer. Let me just make sure. I think I'm going to need a new tip for this pencil pretty soon. Alright. Okay. I know you can't see the cursor. Sorry. One day I'll try to find a fix for that. All right, I'm just tightening some things up real fast before we go to the new layer. I saw some things I needed to fix. So let's go ahead and jump to the new layer. Let's make a new layer. Black ink. Go to the studio inking pen, which is already on. Let's see how. 
it might be a little thick but if it is we'll take care of it later right now let's just get this going let me turn the mic all right hopefully that's a little better all right the story behind Felix Gray. Well, Felix Gray is an alien. A long time ago, I think it was the 60s. A long time ago, in that far flung, displaced from time, 60s, Felix Gray crash landed his spaceship on earth <clears throat> excuse me I got into it for a little bit he leaves crash landed his ship on earth he just happened to land in the United States of America not because he wanted to just that's what happened Well, the United States, after, after entering into an agreements and meeting Felix and seeing everything that he could do, especially his technology, the United States did something. They <clears throat> granted him American citizenship because they didn't want understandably I suppose any other nation to have access to this technology also part of that was Felix was allowed to conduct business Go about his daily life pretty much unhindered, kind of. Yes, he was given special privileges to work on advanced technologies and things, as long as he did it in America. So he created Nova Labs to do it. Now this caused a lot of changes in history. This is sort of where the world of Sweet Dreams of Mayor Worms <clears throat> really kind of starts to separate from ours a little bit. In that because this advanced technology and everything went to was only allowed in the United States because of the arrangement with Felix Gray. The tech and commercial boom, industry, modern industry boom, instead of going over to China and overseas, stayed in America. And led to a increased immigration to the United States for education visas and stuff like that to learn all this new technology anyway I don't want to over politicize it but so I'll save I'll save the rest of the entire story for you can read it in the comic um Felix, Nova Labs. As I mentioned in the description of this, Felix is the creator of Nova Labs and Spider Monkey 12. Spider Monkey 12 is a project to create 
artificial meta deviants because in Sweet Dreams are Made of Worms, the superheroes are called meta deviants. <clears throat> and the reason, and it's also the reason why Spider Monkey is Spider Monkey 12 because there were 12 in. 12 incarnations of Spider Monkey before him. The only one to actually work besides special Spider Monkey 12 was Spider Monkey 11. But Spider Monkey 11 got extraordinarily violent and had massive psychological problems. So Spider Monkey 11 went on ice. Spider Monkey 12 was created with biological material from a meta deviant a spider monkey and a spider banana spider to be precise all right now we can turn this layer off what do we got we've got the rough outline here which is cool so we'll get started boop boop Clean these edges up. So Felix's design is classic gray, but I, I, obviously I didn't want to do a straight up classic gray rip. So I gave him these inverted knees and these and their hands developed differently hands and feet the hands are really elongated with two fingers and the thumbs are kind of up here they're large and they're kind of up here closer to the elbow same thing on the feet also if he stands fully erect he's like 11 feet tall he's huge All right. Never fully got the design for his suit. Now, in the first comic for Sweet Dreams, many worms he appears like just wearing an actual suit, which I guess that's cool. But he also had more human, human like features as well. Because his anatomy is different. And, and the placement of his hands. I think that's probably better. Something like that. Alright. So let's get some details going on Felix here. You might be asking yourself. Or yelling at me. Who knows. Why does everyone in Sweet Dreams of Major Worms look so mad? Well, there's a reason for that, and I don't want to give it away. And I do plan on finishing that story, so... You'll have to wait and see. Alright, it's got a big... These aren't eyelashes, it's just got a big line. Uh big brow and if you watch my art for a while you know I like to put all kinds of little textures and stuff in so Felix's skin is actually it looks kind of shiny but it's actually made of these really small super small like scales so you can see parts of them there so the skin is smooth 
and rough at the same time. So maybe the best thing is smooth and slightly lumpy. big fan of ink and cell shaded coloring and line weights so you will see lots of black thick luscious lines in my work even if they're colored pieces so it doesn't have necessarily have an E.T. neck like from the movie E.T. But it is, <clears throat> he can extend it a little bit. Alright. Well, he's just made his eyes completely black, but I think I'm going to add. Well, I'm going to add some little highlights and stuff to it. All right. Hmm. Going back to this suit. about whoops some stuff kind of like this I'll tell you what let's go ahead and put There you go. So he does have some kind of glove, some kind of gloves on. Maybe the same thing on the feet. throw something on the something to make the legs a little more interesting something like that and we can move it up to the arms as well Tell you what, let's go back. Fix this one. Do I like that? Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Let's fix that.
Okay. Get some detail on those toes. Toey details. Let's drop the size of this pin a little bit. And once Apocalypse Pizza starts back up. My webcomic Apocalypse Pizza. You might actually recognize some of the antagonists in it as creatures of Felix Gray species. Let's make his suit. Let's go ahead and just make his suit black because that's the way I like it. Try that, see how that's gonna look. All right, not bad, not bad. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we gotta close something up. We've got a leak somewhere. Maybe that's it. There we go. Fill that in. There you go. Oh, I love ink. I love the way it looks. Let's need a little bit more light. quicker at this.
Okay. Let's thicken this up. Alright. Get some shine in it. Some of that dark shine. Like from back in the days. I don't know how that's going to look on the foot. Let's see. Ooh. Um. I guess that'll work. See how that's gonna work. There you go. Not bad. Mm -mm, don't like it. I saw some brush, uh, an ad for some brush sets I might get. Hey, Diamond, how's it going? Yep, foot dogs. <clears throat> it's a classic classic brush textures from back in the back in the old days of comics and when I say the old days of comics I mean well you know back when it was done before computers hmm what do I want to do here I still don't know if I like the dealio going on with the on the legs and the forearms, but I'll keep it for now. All right. Wow. Not even 30 minutes have gone by. And I've gotten this far on it. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we can play around with this dark colors a little more. No, I don't like that. Um... Do a little bit more on the fingers. Oh, let's have one of them. Like the other side, one of them is just partially like lounging. There you go. And again, these are thumbs. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Why? Let's maybe we'll sketch Spider Monkey in here since he is the owner, creator of Spider Monkey. Um, new layer. I said new layer. First, let's lock. Lock this layer. All right, new layer. Pick that blue, you know that blue I like. Sketch. Procreate pencil, all right. Got new layer going. Hmm. 
Maybe Spider Monkey is on Felix's shoulder. Spider Monkey is small. He's even he's only about half the size of Ego. Oh, let me change the size of that pencil. And Felix is really, really tall. Maybe I drew a picture like this before. I think I did. Alright. Spider Monkey. Hmm. Oh, maybe that maybe that's not Spider Monkey. Maybe that's maybe that's not Spider Monkey 12. Maybe this is Spider Monkey 11. Let's do that. pictures of spider monkey 11 so we'll see hell maybe we'll put spider monkey 12 in here on the other shoulder how's that that'd be cool now the spider monkeys as i mentioned they are genetic creations however they do have cybernetic parts computers and things like that inside of them as well Spider Monkey 11 Spinner Red. I totally forgot what it looks like. I don't draw them that often. How's that tail look? Should the tail be on the other side? Like, should it be like. that or maybe like that hmm Let's keep it like it is for now. Can always change it later. All right. Let's go through another layer. Start that ink and grab that studio pen. Let's bring it down a notch. Oh, let's change that color back to black. All right.
on the head now. Clean that up a bit. his eyes in there. I will have to go back and check to see how many eyes Spider Monkey 11 has. I think he just has three. There we go. Uh, I'm debating how much detail to put into him. Oh, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> All right. Let's turn that layer off now and see. Oh, well, not that bad. If this was Clip Studio, I just would have made a line. Like a French curve kind of line. Again, these things on their tails. My CD is skipping. How's that? It's Pretzel Rocks. Uh oh. Pretzel Rocks may have crashed because they quit playing. So. Oh well. We'll open it back up and see. Looks like it's crashed from pretzel, pretzel rocks. But that's all right. That's pretzel rocks, not me. You know what? I think that I am going to just do something else with that arm. Because I kind of want it to be a little mysterious. So, 
There, I think I'll just leave it like that. Now... Is it muted? I have it turned off. I'm sorry, how's that? It, it shouldn't be playing at all right now. Okay, it should not be playing anything. I even have it muted. So, um... Hmm. How about now? It shouldn't. Now it's absolutely zero sounds coming from the computer, just my mic. That's the only thing else I can do. All right. Well, 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 you know there always has to be at least one, right? <clears throat> so. Spider Monkey 11 was created from a brown recluse. To whereas 12 was created from a banana spider. So I'm going to put some dark in here. Let's see how this is going to look. I'm kind of worried. Boop and boop. Oh, I forgot this was on another layer, so I have to close all these lines. Alright. 
Yep, it was probably OBS. Thanks for the catch on that. Uh, it definitely it wasn't on my side that time, so. Well, I guess it was on my side, but it wasn't, wasn't my fault. All right, I don't know how I feel about this all-black silhouette. Maybe that's a little better. All right. Any thoughts on that spider monkey? Is the the solid black too much? Should I change it? To maybe a gray. Yeah, it's a lot of black. Hmm. I wonder how many step backs it'll let me go. Maybe I'll get all the way back to the line where tip tap tip tap 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 tip tap tip tap tip tap tip tap tap tap. Tap 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 and tap 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 and tap all right back to the start <clears throat> Let's try something. That might do better. Damn you, damn you. Keep forgetting about that.
just put darks where there would be lots of shadows. How about some cross hatch? I think the important thing right now, let's get the face detailed, and that might help it out a lot. The spider monkeys have segmented eyes. Semi-furry, chitinous flesh is what they have. Look at that. I'll be damned. How long has that been on there? Son of a... <sighs> I guess I just need to run updates to everything. See if that helps. Well, sorry, it's so quiet now. At least with pretzel rocks, there was something to fill in that silence. All right, I think that's cool. Just, uh, just textures. All right, there it is. I think that'll do it. What time is it? Oh, just in time too. So let's let's put some words on it. Let's call it. Uh, well, let's call it what it is, right? First of all, 
Let's get the old John Hancock on there. <clears throat> and today's date is, where's the phone? Here it is. March 2nd. All right. So three, two, and a two, and a two. Uh-oh. I can hear all my old art teachers now. Don't just draw an image floating on the page. Let it stand somewhere. Some texture or something. All right, there it is. It's not just floating on the page. We've got some texture. So there we go. Another one, start to finish. Before an hour's time. Thank you, thank you. So I think we'll call it there. Let's go to the old webcam scene. All right, we've got it. Another ink, start to finish. Well, actually, I drew this one too. Uh, but I did cheat. I drew the I drew a lot of the blue line work for Felix before stream. Uh, well, as you can see, it worked in order to save time. So, and you still got to see me sketch out Spider Monkey Eleven. So. Blah, blah, blah. As always, if you would like to see edited versions of these streams with all those technical difficulties taken out, you can do that on Charisma Kills TV on YouTube. We also put other content up there as well. Right now, there's a trailer for a Weird, The Awakening Newsome game, and there's some other projects from school. So. Uh, you can always go to charismakills.com, check out the news and stuff of what's going on with us, updates, as well as links to all the social media. And if you want to see um, recorded streams of the Weird Test Plays, which we have partnered with the United Adventure Company to do, they have made the exclusive switch from Twitch <laughs> to YouTube. So that's United Adventure Company. And also, you can see a logo that I designed for him, uh, the newest logo for that. And I don't think there's anything else other than, yes, if you are going to be in Mississippi this weekend, near Mississippi, somewhere around Biloxi, CoastCon 44, Charisma Kill Studios will be there running demos, three in fact, of Weird, the tabletop horror role-playing game. So let's go ahead and call it here.